Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm really unsure whether I wanna to vlog today. There is a few reasons, but I know I wanna vlog in the sense that I love looking back at the memories we make and just being able to watch you basically relive something again. So, as you can probably tell by the title, whatever the title may be, because I don't know if it'll be related, but we'll see. I'm going to see the KSI fight tonight in Wembley, and I'm going with my best friend, and I'm so excited. So, I'm not really going for KSI, I'm going because Josh Bruckner is fighting. And you may not know of him, you may know of him, but basically I watch him and Katie, his wife, on YouTube and I have since 2020. And when I knew that he was coming to the UK to have his first fight in the UK, I thought I need to go. So I'm really looking forward to that. That is tonight. I am heading to London in about an hour. Well, actually, I'm not heading to London in an hour, but I'm heading out in an hour. Actually, under an hour. So I need to hurry up with everything that I need to get done. I packed last night so I don't have anything else left to pack apart from obviously the essentials like deodorant, toothbrush, that kind of thing but apart from that I am all packed. I made sure so I wasn't stressed this morning. I've had a few alerts on my phone the past 24 hours about disruptions with the trains. As far as I'm aware there isn't any train strikes but I don't really know what's going on. I looked yesterday, it told me to download the app if I wanted to know what was going on. So I downloaded the app and there was nothing there. I've checked the train for today and apparently everything is running on time which hopefully that's the case because usually the train that I need to get takes me to Nottingham, that's the first train that I need to get and that's usually always late so I'm hoping not because it could make me miss my connecting train to Pancras so we'll see what happens but I also checked early hours this morning because I thought I need to check my phone, I need to see what time it is so I don't stay asleep too long. And that one said that tomorrow I was having a replacement and I wasn't going on a train, that I was going on a bus. So, I don't really know what's going on. I mean, again, they can't give me the actual update because the train isn't until tomorrow. I have checked and everything looks fine on there. But I'm just going to have to keep waiting and see because I do have to leave Wembley at about 8am tomorrow because I have an early train back. My train back is at half past nine in the morning. It's early, I know, but it was the most affordable train and this has been a very affordable trip to London, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. But I don't know how much I'm going to vlog. I know that I want to vlog, but I don't know how much because Olivia's boyfriend is meeting us in London. And I'm going to be honest, I feel a little bit awkward filming in front of him. I don't know what he's going to think. It might become really weird. And because I'm not, obviously, I'm not around him very often. His family are coming as well. I don't really know if I want to be that kind of person that pulls out a camera and starts having a chat. Because if you don't do YouTube and you don't watch YouTube, you don't get it when you see somebody and you do look at them a little bit weird. And that might feel a little bit uncomfortable. So... In order for me to not have that happen, I'm probably going to vlog, but it may be very minimal until me and Olivia are on our own. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to go to London. I shall get into London just before 12 and then we're going to head to Harrods um, because I really, really want to go to Harrods. I've been wanting to go to Harrods for ages, so we're going to go to Harrods and then what we're going to do after that? That's when we leave her boyfriend and we're going to go to our hotel, um, put our stuff down, then we're going to go for some dinner at TGI's. I absolutely love TGI's. I went with Dylan, um, was it last year or the year before? Might have been last year. And it was really, really yummy. So I want to go back there, come back, get ready. I've brought a few outfit changes because I don't know what I want to wear. And obviously go to the fight. The doors open at 6, the event starts at 7, and apparently it finishes at half past 10. Whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know, because obviously it is five fights, but... I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm so excited. I love London and we've not been to Wembley since Coldplay. So this is going to bring back a lot of memories, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to experience this with my best friend. Haven't seen her in so long. I feel like we haven't, we haven't seen each other since her uncle's funeral. So it's been at least, I think, two months. But this will be a much happier occasion that we see each other on. So this will do her the world of good, being able to just go out and forget about the th things for a little while I look horrendous but that is because i've just woken up well i haven't just woken up i'm gonna wait for about half an hour back to like push myself to get out of bed so it is currently let's check the time 7.3 so i've literally got 
45 minutes until I need to leave the house. Also, another reason why I may not be able to vlog that much is because it's actually raining. I have checked the weather at Wembley and it's not going to be raining this afternoon, it's just going to be this morning. And obviously, majority of this morning, I'm going to be on a train. So there's really not going to be much effect to that. But obviously, I don't want my camera getting wet, so I may have to put it in my bag. But yeah, like I said, if I don't get much footage um, this morning, that is because... There's other people around that I'm just not comfortable filming in front of. I'll try my best and if I do film, it'll probably just be like a little bit of a montage. So, hope you don't mind, but I definitely want to just still vlog because I know deep down I really want to vlog and I'm going to really enjoy looking back at this. So, I'm going to stop talking. I need to clean up the game that me and my mum played last night because I left that out. And then... I'm gonna make myself some breakfast quickly and then get ready because I've got to leave so soon. Everybody is still asleep upstairs, so it's kind of a peaceful morning, but I don't want to jinx it. So let me quickly go and get my stuff ready and when I'm ready, I'll show my outfit of the day. Not very exciting, but it's a little bit of footage because I don't know how much I'm gonna get. Bag is all ready to go. It's actually quite heavy, but we move. So don't know if you see me very well, I'm pushing in the background, but I've got just a bodysuit on, a turtleneck bodysuit, my coat, jeans, boots, and my scarf and i've just got my hair up i'm gonna wear it down tonight but i've told Olivia to bring her hair straighteners because i washed it yesterday so it's gonna be really frizzy and obviously it's raining so i need to get the bus in about 10 minutes so hopefully the rain will stop if not due to rain this evening so fingers crossed so that's bus journey over with i'm now heading to the train station to go and get my first train fingers crossed it's not delayed Harrods now. Yeah, when we came, we walked down that way. Right Don't you have to dress nice to go in here? No. Oh, <laughs> that spiky fruit. I had that. <laughs> We're just in their bakery. What are these? Look how fancy these look. What are they? Look at these cakes. They cake right? Cakes right? Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> We're getting a little snack, we're having a cheese twist. We love these. Remember when you got them at Wembley and you never told me that they did cheese twists? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, mean, I didn't tell you. Because so I had a chocolate one. <laughs> it was the last one, though, to be fair. Let's go eat them. The best cheese sticks ever. They're so good. Did all this draft. Kies price. Look. Only four thousand two hundred pound. <laughs> this one's a little bit smaller, but that's still same. Well, not same, but still pricey. But we are in Harrods. <laughs> exactly that. Everything is so cute, though. We're alright, big kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm such a big child. I'm just playing on. I need to get over that. It's nice, isn't it? So just been in Harrods. It's actually quite nice in there, but it's really big and I've got a massive heavy bag on my shoulder. It's getting heavier as the day goes on. So we're now gonna go and get Olivia some shoes because she couldn't find her. So we're gonna go find some and then just do a little bit of shopping, I think, and then head to the hotel after. I've had to put my bag down because it's just too much. <laughs> but we're in Zara. We're in the lift. Olivia doesn't like lifts, but they don't have any escalators in here, so. We're off to find some shoes, if we can find any. I don't know if there's any other shops around here apart from Zara. There might be. There's a top shop, I think it's closed. Oh yeah, I don't think top shop's open anymore. Let's grab my bag. Let's go. So Olivia's just looking at what is around where we're, where we're staying because there isn't that many shops around here and these bags are really heavy. So we might go shopping around there. We might go back to Primark. But I think we're definitely going to go back there and drop our bags off even if we don't go shopping there because they're so heavy and i can't carry this bag around any longer we're gonna go to 
the hotel, check in, drop our bags off, then we're gonna go to the designer outlet there, see if there's anything there. There isn't. We're gonna go back to Oxford Street and get some shoes. We haven't got a strict plan for what we wanna do, I just wanna make sure we're back in time to get ready, which we will be anyway. We made it to Wembley. Yeah. It's been a while. So we made it. We was literally just talking about the fire um, when we was on the underground here and I'm so buzzed and I'm so excited for it now. So we're just gonna find our way to the hotel, drop our bags off and then do a little bit of shopping. Found the arena, just to find the hotel now. This person that's guiding us because I've got no clue at all. Found the hotel. Let's go to our room and drop our bags off. I'm so eager to drop my bag off because my arm is killing me. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we're in room 710. Other room tour when we get in. Nearly at our room. Got it. This, this is about to get in. This is us. It didn't. Let's no. get in. Oh. That's not a positive. <laughs> okay, I'm let's see. So we actually booked this room for only £58, which is so cheap and so affordable. We did not expect it to be this price at all. And I'll show you a quick room tour. The room is a bit dated, but it's clean, it's tidy. That's all we ask for. So let me quickly show you what the room looks like. And then I think we're gonna go do some shopping. And my bag is staying in here now. You walk in wardrobe, mirror. I love your eyes, don't bathroom. Oh, I don't think they need to see my camera's all right. Uh, but yeah, this is the bathroom. Got a sh shower, bath, obviously everything else we have in a bathroom. <laughs> this is our bed. What have we got on the bed? Oh, it's just the pattern. Oh, okay, I thought they'd left something on the bed. Okay, and then towels, a phone. That's it, really. Olivia. <laughs> And then we just got obviously a dressing table here, TV, also have coffee and tea facilities, which is good. Have they got any tea bags? I think they have got tea bags, but I don't think they're what I know of. No, I've never heard of those tea bags, but if we get thirsty, we can have those. And that's it. That is our room. And this will do us for the night. We're only staying for the night. So Olivia found some little goodies. What's that? I'm not sure, it just says, um... oh, it's shampoo. Shampoo, if you want to wash your hair. And then, hair and body, which you've got two of those, and then, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> it's <insane. laughs> No, but it's handy though, I mean, I know it's not gonna get far, but you know if you forget them. Yes. A little bit handy in a way. It says, I'm interested to see what this is. What is that? I'm not sure. Is it something you wrap around your head? It says a dry hair day, so I'm guessing. Yes, it's, it's one of the, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. You know that thing you put on your hair if you don't wash hair? I don't know what they're called though. Shower cap? That's what it's called. Looks a bit small to be a shower cap though, doesn't it? Oh, hold on. Oh, we're getting Shall somewhere. <laughs> yes. Boom, there we go. <laughs> No, uh, <laughs> we literally haven't been there in five minutes and Olivia has done something to the ironing board so it won't go on anymore. <laughs> and then Olivia said this looks burnt, so I mean, yeah, not great. I mean, it was only £58, maybe that might be why. So we're gonna go shopping, it's currently 10 to three. So the doors open at six, but we're not gonna go at six because the doors only open at six, but the event starts at seven. So we need to be there at least, be sat in our seats for quarter seven. So things might change depending on where we need to go for shoes and stuff like that and stuff that we need, but it's fine. As long as we get everything done that we need to, we get ready, we'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, so if you're wondering what the last footage was, basically we found the hotel that we're staying in and everybody is queuing there. And we was just trying to see if we could like see anyone and we don't know how long people have been queuing there for. So we're just gonna go and do what we need to do, but we'll keep coming back. Pardon? 
Oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, I don't know how long everyone's going to be waiting there for, but obviously it would be great to get a glimpse of some of them, but yeah, I don't know how long we're waiting and we do need to always go and get a few bits and pieces. So we went to the designer outlet and we couldn't find anything. And what we did find was ridiculously expensive and we just was not going to pay that. So apparently there's a Primark near here, so we're going to have a look, see if we can find it and then see where we go from there. We haven't got much time now, probably got about two hours. Okay, so we did end up going to Primark. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we did end up going. It ended up being 22 minutes away. Ward worked out about 40 minutes to get there and back. And then obviously we needed to shop as well. And it just didn't seem worth it. We just do not have the time. It is currently 20 to four. We need to get ready. So no, it's not 20 to four, it's 20 to five. So we have about an hour and 20 minutes till the doors open. And originally we wasn't gonna go and the doors open, but we're gonna go to TGI's, but we can't because basically you need a reservation now. I don't know if it's been like that for the duration of the day, but you can't go in now unless you've got a reservation. So we can't go there to eat. So we've decided that we're probably just gonna eat at the arena. We'll probably have some food, then go take our seats. So we're gonna get ready now and then head to the arena about six. But I'm also not gonna take my camera because none of us are taking a bag and if I get refused I have to come all the way back to the hotel and bring this back so it's just easier for me not to film in there if I do take any footage I'll just film on my phone and load it but apart from that I'm not going to film anymore but I'll show you what we're wearing and things like that but apart from that we'll see you when we're ready okay we're going to do an outfit of the night so my outfit is from uh, River Island and the shoes I'm just wearing soft flats, I'm not wearing heels. I did try my heels on yesterday, but I don't like feet in their open toe heels, so it was an absolute no-no for me. And as we're sat on a block, I don't know how steep the blocks are gonna be, so we're not taking that risk. So I've got some flats, these are from Primark. Over to you, and look then, how great she looks. <laughs> my dress is from h &M, and the shoes I brought today, you can't really see them, they're flats too, because, you know, same reason, um, from Clark's. Looks fab. So we are gonna go and are we gonna go down? No, we might as well go down to the lobby because the doors don't open till six and we are wearing a jacket. I'm just gonna wear my denim jacket, she's gonna wear hers as well. So that's all we're gonna wear. I'm gonna take some pictures and then we can go. But yeah, doesn't doors don't open till six. Uh we're gonna go get some food enjoy the fight and then we'll come and review everything when we come back. Like I said, we're not taking the camera with us because I don't want to have to come back if this day I can't take it in. So we'll see you guys after the fight. So we are back from the fight. Unfortunately, Josh didn't win and I was completely gutted. And it is his first fight in the UK, so no doubt he's probably gutted as well. But the only thing you can do is try your best, right? So KSI did win. The round didn't even go past round one. Um, how long did it take? Two minutes like two minutes like 19 minutes, seconds something like or something? That, yeah. Um and Tampa got knocked out. So that was a quick fight. I thought it was gonna go on for a little bit longer, but KSI okay, so wiped him out within the first round. But it was really good. The atmosphere in there was really, really good. And we enjoyed it, it was good. I would definitely consider going again if there is anybody that is fighting that I enjoy watching, then I'll go. But I don't think it'll be something I go to just for kind of the sake of going, if that makes sense. If I know someone that's fighting, um, then I'll go. Cause I liked it and it was good. It was something different for us because we're usually the constant type of people. Usually when we're going away and staying somewhere, and staying in a hotel, we usually go into a concert and the last time I was here was for Coldplay, but I wanted a change and Josh was fighting in the UK, so I thought, why not, let's go see it. Didn't get the result that I wanted, but it's fine. I have to be up early in the morning. I have to be at the train station for 9.30 because that is when my train comes. So I need to go wipe my makeup off, get into my pajamas and get myself to bed. I don't know what time it is, but Olivia said it was about 11 o'clock when we came out of the fight. So it's pretty late now. It's probably about maybe half 11, 12. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. My bag is all packed, ready to go. We're on our way to check out. I was just saying to Olivia, last time I was in London, I was gutted to leave. But now, I'm not gutted to leave, especially after Josh's loss. So, we're gonna head home now. My train is at half past nine, and I think we've got an hour and a half, so plenty of time to get there. So we're on our way back to the underground. We need to take two 
ground trains back to Pancras and it is freezing here. When I came in November it was not this cold. I know it's winter but it is freezing. I think it's colder here than it is at home. So we made it back to St Pancras so I don't know how long it is till my train. I want to say about like maybe 45 minutes so I'm gonna go get some food, get a drink and then I can make my way to my train a bit close to the time. So I'm now back home, our London trip is over, but it was good, I mean obviously we didn't get the results that I was wanting in terms of Josh's fight and that was the main reason I went, but overall I actually really enjoyed it. To say this was our first boxing match we've ever been to, the atmosphere in there was absolutely brilliant, everybody was so friendly and it was just a really really good atmosphere in there. I absolutely love London, I love going to London, I love doing new things every time we go there and I can't wait for our next trip to London which hopefully won't be long because I have a few plans that I would love to do with the kids in London and I have a few things that I want to do in terms of their birthdays for London so we'll see but London is my favourite city and I love going there and overall this time we had a really good time. I don't see myself going to a boxing match unless there is somebody that I'm aware of, like this time. I wouldn't see myself going to every single boxing match just for the sake of it. I want to only go if I know the people that are fighting. So yeah, it was really good. I know obviously it was live on TV or whatever. So there was a lot of people that also did watch that fight as well. Yeah, overall it was really good and we really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. I'm going to go and spend the rest of the day with the kids because I've only just got home and it's been a long weekend but it's been so much fun. But now I'm back with my favourite little people and I'm going to spend some time with them. So if you guys did enjoy today's video please smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd be extremely grateful and if you haven't already click that notification bell it will notify every single time I upload a video and I'll see you on the next video.